Hey, what's up? It's Matt with MJ Gable. Welcome back to the channel. This is the Gable Report. Today is October 3rd, 2023, and I should have done this video late last week. I didn't, so I apologize. Um, here to discuss the diamond market, where we're at this first week in October, and where I think we're heading and other news that we have within the diamond industry. So it is true, if you've heard, jewelers are absolutely going bonkers right now because Martin Rappaport did reduce the rap sheet again. Um, and what you have to understand is Martin Rappaport doesn't just snap his fingers, change the pricing list. He um, methodically goes and talks to other diamond dealers in the diamond marketplace from Belgium, Hong Kong, Israel, and asks them what diamonds are being traded, bought, and sold at. And then he makes adjustments accordingly. So it's not necessarily Martin Rappaport's fault. What is he supposed to do when diamonds are trading a lot less than what the rap sheet is showing? So... We are down again this month. That is the trend, and I'll tell you exactly um, where we're at. So when I look at the RAPI index, we're down every category in carat range. Um, the thirds, 30 pointers are down 2.6%. I'll give it to the large ones. 30 to 40 pointers are um, down about 6.3, 6.7%. And we get into like 7%. On, on some of the color and clarity ranges. If I go all the way up to halves, they're down an average of five, six, some of them are 7%, again, depending on color clarity range. If we get to the carrot range, we are down about 4%. So if we took if we take 4% as an average, we're down 35% total from last March to this year. So we're pushing 40%, which is what I think I mentioned in the last video. Um, I don't know where the end is. I don't know if we're going to see 45, 50% decrease in diamond value. That's very scary. Um, I'd like to hear from you jewelers and you tradesmen out there, what you're doing with inventory, how you're moving it, what creative things you're doing to basically drum up business and, and sell goods. Um, carrot and a half, so we're almost down 6.8%. So that's some of the news. We've got some other stuff too going on. Apparently, there is a bench jeweler, jeweler shortage. Now, I have not heard this, and I belong to a pretty big group on Facebook um, that's literally thousands strong jewelers across the world. I have not heard of a bench jeweler shortage. Now, I knew this was going to eventually happen because the younger generation is not interested in doing bench work. Um, it's also a trade that you have to learn from a very young age, and it's typically passed down from family member to family member. Not a lot of people are getting into the bench jeweler side of the business. And to be quite honest with you, there's not a whole lot of them left. Um, same with diamond cutters. So I knew that was going to happen. I just didn't think it was going to happen this soon. But apparently there's a big demand and shortage of bench jewelers. Who knew? I didn't. I should have known. Um, De Beers also is is reporting that they are down quite a bit. Um, they're cutting prices by 40%. Now, if you remember my last video, I said we were down 35%. Their price decrease to 40% is to make up for the diamond crash and the diamond market falling. So they had to cut their prices by 40% just to get items to move. I'm assuming we're talking rough goods and some of their cut polish goods that they're reducing the price point. I know the last few months, it's been really slow with the beers moving any rough and um, those type of goods. So I'm willing to bet that's what they're talking about. The other thing too is, um, I didn't cover this in the last video, that GIA has laid off, I think 150-ish employees at their Carlsbad um, location in California. They're having some issues with I think volume, the volume's just not there of grading diamonds. I would probably say that that has to do with the influx of, again, the, the lab grown diamonds. A lot of labs, um, other labs, I should say, are grading the lab grown stones. Not as many are going to GIA. So IGI and GKL are the two larger labs that are taking care of the lab grown side. GIA does do them but I think they're a little bit behind in that and they predominantly are working on the naturals GIA. So therefore they don't have enough business because they're only doing naturals. And, and naturally, natural markets down, 
there's not a lot of demand for naturals because the demand switched to the lab grown market. So lab grown market's on fire. The margins aren't great, meaning you know, you've got to sell a lot of lab growns in order to, to, to make up the difference for selling one natural. Anyways, if you guys like the content I throw out there, do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. It allows me to continue to deliver this stuff to you. Um, so feedback is excellent. If there's a video you guys want me to cover within the diamond and jewelry business, let me know. Happy to do it. And that's all I've got. Have a great week. And as always, thanks for watching.